So friends, in this video, we shall be talking about the device WHO classification of childhood pneumonias, which is very, very important. So this revised WHO classification of uh, childhood pneumonia is based on the latest guidelines by the World Health Organization. As per this, the first recommendation is that it has changed the names of the categories into which it has divided pneumonia. So the first category is children with fast breathing pneumonia. So children with fast breathing only, that is no chest and drawing or general danger sign, they are to be given amoxicillin at least 40 mg per kg per dose BD. That is just double the dose almost. 80 mg per kg per day for a duration of 5 days. And in cases where and in uh, areas where there is low prevalence of HIV, amoxicillin can be given only for 3 days. Referral to a facility where there is a provision of appropriate second line treatment if the patient is not responding to amoxicillin. Then the second recommendation is that children aged between 2 to 59 months of age, that is infancy up to 5 years of age, with chest indrawing pneumonia, this is the second category of pneumonia, chest indrawing pneumonia, they are to be managed again with oral amoxicillin, again 40 mg per kg per dose BD for 5 days. Now the third recommendation is for the third category, which is referred to as severe pneumonia, and children aged between 2 to 59 months uh, are to be given parenteral antibiotics and the antibiotics to be preferred are ampicillin 50 mg per kg or benzyl penicillin 50,000 units per kg if ampicillin is not available given IM or IV 6 hourly along with gentamicin 7.5 mg per kg IM or IV OD the two are to be given for a total duration of 5 days. In case the patient does not respond to this first line drugs, then ceftriaxone can be taken to be as the second line treatment for those who fail on them. The fourth recommendation is for HIV infected or exposed infants. These definitely need to be managed with parenteral antibiotics. And the antibiotics to be considered are again ampicillin or benzyl penicillin plus gentamicin as the first choice. And Ceftriaxone as the second line treatment if they are not responding to ampigenta. And the fifth and the last recommendation is that HIV infected or exposed infants between 2 months to 1 year of age with chest and drawing pneumonia or severe pneumonia, they are to be given additional empirical cotrimoxazole for suspected pneumocystis cerevisiae, which was earlier known as pneumocystis carinii, as an additional treatment. It is to be remembered that empiric cotrimoxazole is not to be given for HIV infected or exposed children over one year of age, either with chest and drawing or with severe pneumonia. So here summarizing the three important points from the five recommendations. The first point is that the commonly used terms pneumonia, severe pneumonia and very severe pneumonia which we use in the IMNCI program also that is Integrated Management of Neonatal and Childhood Illnesses of India. These have been replaced by the WHO by different terms. Pneumonia has been replaced by the term fast breathing pneumonia. Severe pneumonia has been replaced by chest and drawing pneumonia. And very severe pneumonia has been replaced by severe pneumonia. The second broad summary is that the, it has specified the antibiotics and the duration. So for the first category, only oral amoxicillin in double the dose for a duration, minimum duration of 5 days. And for the remaining two categories, that is chest and drawing and severe pneumonia, the first line drugs are parenteral ampicillin plus gentamicin and the second line is ceftriaxone. And the last important summary is that empiric cotrimoxazole needs to be added as an add-on in children 2 months to 1 year of age if they are HIV exposed or infected as a prophylaxis against pneumocystis carinii pneumonia. So thank you very much for a patient listening. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot.